Hi guys! In this video, I'm going to explain why you can sometimes get a lump in your Achilles tendon, which can be painful when you press on it. My name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from TreatMyAchilles.com. Um, we are online physiotherapy service where we treat Achilles tendon pain via video calls. Um, check out the description of this video if you wanted to find the link to our website. So, have you noticed a painful lump in your Achilles tendon when you press on it? Now, that lump is often, if I can get my foot into the shirt, somewhere in the middle of the tendon there. And when you squash it, it hurts. Now, that's usually a sign that you have Achilles tendinopathy or ten tendinosis, depending on what you want to call it, or it's also called ten tendinitis or tendonitis. Quite a few different terms. Now, that lump there is not swelling in the sense of the word that we normally understand swelling to be. So swelling in a joint is usually fluid that collects. That lump is caused by something else. And I'll explain to you um, a little bit more about that in a minute. So to understand how it works, I think we should first look at what an Achilles tendon looks like when it's healthy. So if you look at an Achilles tendon under a microscope, you'll see that there are loads, thousands and thousands of little collagen fibers packed in next to each other and they all run parallel to each other. Now, think back to school. Did you guys do that thing where when you have one piece of string and you pull on it, it can snap quite easily. But if you put about 10 pieces of string next to each other, you pull and pull and pull and you can't really break it. So Achilles tendons are extremely strong and um, Part of the reason is because these fibers are all parallel to each other. Now, the other thing that you see under microscope is that they are tiny little cells, but you can see there aren't that many of them. Those are the little black things you can see on that picture. And then there are tiny white spaces in between, but mostly those fibers are really squashed together and nice tight packed. Now, if you do exercise that's more than what the Achilles tendon can cope with. So for instance, you go and do a really hilly run or a really long run, or you do a heavy speed session and your Achilles tendon wasn't prepared for it or strong enough for it, then you can flare it up and it becomes injured. It gets a lot of micro trauma and it causes an injury. So that's the beginnings of Achilles tendinopathy. And what you see then if you look under a microscope is can you see that the white gaps between the fibers are now much um, there are a lot more of them and they are actually a lot larger. So these fibers are being forced apart slightly. And that's part of the reason why it's now starting to be swollen or look like a swollen tendon to you. Also, the other thing you'll notice is there are loads of little black dots or dark purple dots now, which is cells that's moved into the area to try and fix the problem. So the end result of this is that you're getting that lump forming now. Now, if this goes on for long enough, usually if you come and see me at this stage, we can calm it down with quite severe um, alterations in how active you are and things and managing the load through the tendon and get it to calm down and recover within a few weeks. But now if you ignore it, because let's face it, we all do it sometimes that you try and train on it or you give it a bit of rest and then you train on it quickly again, then this is what can happen in the tendon. At this point, you don't really notice which direction those fibers are running in anymore. And it's because it's becoming a little bit mangled. So because they're not parallel anymore, you're losing that strength of the tendon. So the tendon becomes softer. You also now have fewer cells again, but they are larger cells. And if you look at them even closer, they are actually of the wrong kind. So not the same type as a healthy cell or healthy tendon has in it. Now, this is how it looks under a microscope. If you looked under ultrasound scan, you'll also notice small blood vessels growing into the tendon. Now, healthy tendons don't have blood vessels growing into them, only injured ones and ones that's been injured for a long time. So more than a month or three months have blood vessels growing into them. So the end result of all of these changes is that you now have a softer chain um, tendon that doesn't quite work as well as a healthy one because a healthy tendons needs to be stiffer then they return your energy for you better when you're running now how do you get this to turn back so if you just rest you'll calm the pain down in it but it won't actually change anything in the cell structure think about it when you want to build big muscles and things you go to the gym 
and you exercise the muscle and you see changes in the size and the quality of the muscle. The same thing goes for the Achilles tendon. If you want the body to change it back to healthy cells and healthy fibers, you have to actually exercise it to get that to happen. But the exercises have to be exactly at the right level, so not too much or too little, so that you get the changes, but that you don't actually cause more trouble and more in or the injury to be worse. Same thing with running. People often ask me, can I continue to run? Now, the answer to that is it depends on your specific case of your injury. We always, at treatmyachilles.com, we always try and keep you as active as we can. So what we'll do is we'll manage your load. We'll see how much running can you do without actually aggravating the tendon. So you've got to have it at the right level for it. And then as the tendon gets stronger, it's a mixture between strengthening exercises and running that will get it back to full health. Now, the other important thing is, Remember, if you want to get a beach body in the gym, you won't do the exercises for a week and expect big muscles. You need to do it for at least six weeks before you start seeing changes in your body. And the same thing for a tendon. If you want to get rid of this condition, it's six weeks before you start seeing good improvement. And then it can be 12 weeks and often up to 24 weeks before you're back to full running. Normally, we can get people back to some sort of decent running within 12 weeks. But again, it depends on your case and your injury. I find that runners who consult us earlier rather than later tend to return to running much, much more quickly. Now, have a look at our website. We do Achilles um, tendon treatment via online consultations. So we do it in front of um, with a video app like Skype or Zoom or WhatsApp, depending on what you prefer. And the nice thing about that is that I can see you move. So we'll do a full on consultation where I get a full history of your training, how the injury started, um, what your goals are for the next few months. And then I'll test everything. So your muscle strength and the rest of your body, as well as your Achilles tendon. And then only do I compile a training program for you. Because if you don't take everything else that's happening in your life into consideration, the training program may be too heavy and actually strain your Achilles tendon rather than help it. Um, I've popped a link in the description of this video to our website, so have a look. But there's also a blog post that I wrote about this topic about the lump in your Achilles tendon specifically. So if you wanted to read that again and get a better understanding, that link will be in there as well. Let me know if you've got any questions. Take care.